the phase we're going to see today, if they're going to change stuff from the, what they did yesterday, they're going to try to involve some more of their passive CT setups like they normally do, in the, in the uh, uh, had, like they normally have, excuse me. And how much hell uh, players like Poison are going to give them. A couple of good shots here to do big damage. However, he cannot also take down Olaf Meister, who keeps a key piece of utility in this one Molotov. Yeah, good thing he runs away. You know, he was top mid with that Molly. Had he lost it, then this post plant is X amount more difficult. But complexity are going to throw a player around through T spawn in config. Olaf throws out his Molotov. Heat's not yet been cranked. JKS smoke kit for the retake. First two kills come out for complexity. Oh my goodness, blink and you'll miss it. No kidding. Oh, you I missed it? it? Yeah, I really, I really <laughs> did just blink and miss it. Wow, that was super quick. Um, yeah, everything could have gone, couldn't have gone better. It does come down to just the shots being hit, but they come through for the crunch. The hungry hippos on complexity all snap at the same time. I mean, it's just, yeah. <laughs> two kills instantly, two kills instantly. Rush gets the double out connector, and uh, we saw a couple of other individual kills trickle in. Pause called early. I, this has to be something to do. I mean, it's obviously not a stress break. It's probably just some kind of economy thing. They decide if they have a plan for this eco. I think this is a moment where maybe Cold Zera might be cool to get a listen in on something like this. If he's trying to devise some kind of eco strategy, if they want to spend money here. It looks like Olaf's actually bought up a full kit. Mm. So, smack tens. Yeah, this would be a cool round to see what the um, what the idea was out the gate. They're probably just going to commit to something all the way through, so we'll be able to see it. You know what the strat is, of course. But um, let's see how it works out. They've got the Deagles to buy up. It's like one of those moments that's cool because you know that something's dawned on him, right? Mm. They're just like, hmm, I have an idea actually. You know, instead of just going and spreading the map in a default working picks. So let's see what the idea is, what? if it's any good. It's an expensive round here from Complexity. They've invested a lot, so it's scary for FaZe to also buy into this. It's going to be hard guns to take down. But the B-Lean looks like one of the better solutions. Especially if they smoke out uh, Get Right, which I'm not sure they're doing. Yeah, it's just Rush holding this B-Site from Catwalk. So, I mean, at least Complexity are already in a position where they want to play the retake. Og should have a massive advantage at this range. Sees the bomb carrier jump outwards. Doesn't want to expose himself too much to the player in the windowsill. Config catching a kill. Bomb's planted, though. However, with the full investment phase, they're certainly shooting for more than just a plant. Well, you know what? They're not in a bad spot. They have B-Halls mm -hmm. to their name. They have Rush on 1 HP. Two players coming up. Cat, I think JKS Poison play the key position here. Yeah. Supporting grenades coming out of market. Another red shot for Rush. Olaf trying his damnedest with the MAC-10, but it will all fall on cold. This was his idea, and let's see if he can close. He's got himself the first two, but they're on top of the bomb site. That's JKS with the plant and poison, poises for cover, giving Complexity the retake and their second round of the board. A really good try, and I do like the setup from Complexity. There were some smokes there could have allowed them to, once they got out so cleanly, to, to throw some nades down to block off the site so that they could get the plant down and move into different post plant positions but still getting those kills bomb plant very solid now they can be happy about that now they're going to maybe just upgrade slightly i would take that as a huge win considering they had two m4s and aug in this one and we'll see what kind of damage they can put out this time around weaponizing config scary prospect considering what we saw on nuke yeah he was horrifyingly on take, point. Take the leash off, let him run free. He's hitting everything right now. It's him at the base of mid and Blame at the top of it. Both the Danes for complexity able to pick up a kill. JKS catching cold and Config takes over top from his in-game leader. That's a 2k for Config and a third round for complexity. But here we are, FaZe back with their first real buy. Op included as Brokey has his hands on the cannon instantly. Man, Complexity have a damn near perfect roster in terms of different play styles, strong IGL, super solid uh, opper. They have a major winner as their support player. Like, they have really <laughs> so much going for this team. Yeah, when you say it like that. It's no, yeah, it's no, it's Man, no overstatement, really. Config 
does not strike me as an MP5 player. That weapon is far too dainty to be in his hands. It's a small weapon. Let's see how he can use it. I mean, this angle works versus anybody, right? You'd think. Okay. Holding Olaf with AKs. Uh oh. He's the leg. Listen to this thing. <laughs> like a centipede. He's gonna try to hide in the corner, and he's doomed. Get this man an MP7, damn it. JKS gets aggressive in Palace. He does land his headshot, but Rain has the AK advantage. Still two players for phase inside the B apps, or rather a bit further back as Rush holds on here. Blames nearby to support. Okay, what's the play that Poison makes? He could just go under Balk. It's actually not a bad spot to be under Balk since they're not even taking mid control. He doesn't know it, but it's going to be the risk that he takes here. Of course, they cross uh, from stair side. He's in a much more dangerous position. But FaZe will take their time. They've established a lot of control, and I think... I guess they're just going to overstack the A ramp and leave one to lurk. Let's see if we can get in the mind of Olaf Meister. Is he just going to come underpass or look for a lurk? If we're thinking about ways to lose this round, you know, overplaying your hand in the spot might be something. Uh oh. Right. Oh, they're trying to get info. He's going to realize this is a fake, yeah. but he has to go ahead and pull the trigger. Now we're expecting FaZe to run into the A site. Poison has to reveal himself, oh, but he bad. gives himself a second and the dink. Cold down to a single point of health. And there it is, Rush through smoke into his head. Blame perfect rotate. Fourth round for complexity in a damn row. And it looked like they were gonna find themselves onto that A site, but Poison goes above and beyond. It was a good spot, right? Like he, you know. So this is, yeah, Rush just telling his team it's not an exec. Now the thing is he waits long enough, which is great. It doesn't really change anything because they don't rotate that quickly. Wow. Uh, it, it's really just about Poison getting his shots, nailing the two all kills. And the fact that Olaf dies as well, it's more just a number thing. It's not his position or what he was doing for the team in that spot. It was just that point. If they had him and everybody just go back to A, they would have. They probably would have won. Missed window smoke. But they can't know that rush had been pushed so far. Yeah, a bit awkward. Yeah. Oh, or is it? Rain just goes ahead and blows Blame's head off. Poison now offing in the window sill. In the window, above the windowsill. He's not in the windowsill. Mm. I struggle with that. Windows are difficult. Oh, yeah. Not as hard as Linux, though. Boost up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh at that. I didn't want to, but... <laughs> I like you to do a fake laugh when you really were laughing. <laughs> so you know you're an asshole. <laughs> Config's ready for something in mid, but uh, players keeping their heads tucked for the time being. Kirby just outside the window. He fires off a warning shot to tell them that the threat looms near. Kirby can't quite find his opening, but the bomb's in position on ramp, so this is definitely going to be FaZe trying to overwhelm the A site. JKS underneath Palace, Poison with the op on ticket is all they seem to need. And now with JKS getting confirmation on Kierby, it's all come unraveled for phase. 5-0, complexity on fire. Nice moves by JKS. He's got really great uh, spray control. I mean, JKS looks so comfortable. Love watching this work out so well. This crossfire, keeping you, your distance. You were saying he's got really good, and I just... Uh-huh. It didn't matter what Hair? word you said next. Oh, okay. You know? You it's like everything. He, yeah. he's just, he, is, he is kind of a full package. That's true. Can he op? Is that his weakness? I'm sure he can op. Probably can. I'm sure he can. Probably never even has opt and could say he can. <laughs> sure. Zero op kills in the last six years of his career. Oh my god, nice flash. Config supporting Blame F. Still a couple more players at the top of mid. Brokey able to respond. He actually does op sometimes. Now that I think about it. Yeah, he's the real get you a man, man. You know, again, uh, ooh, ooh, poison. I thought he died because DJ turned off X-Ray, but he was just so so in and out with that window peek that uh, this double sniper setup could be good. Config actually dropping his chance at besting Cold Zera. So here's Cold and Olaf, 2v4, and almost having even the body count. Now they have. Minute on the clock to finish this clutch. 
Ooh, but Poison takes the initiative, and neither of these T's actually oh, has oh, bomb. Oppers, baby. You thought to talk about Oppers. Who can op this guy? No, 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 no. Uh -huh. Nobody in the face of Poison can compete. Yeah, he... Yeah. He's like on that he's like on that Searson level right now. Yeah. Like some games he does look like the best offer that you've ever seen and then um, it's just about getting some more consistency. The problem that everybody has, you know. Sometimes maybe good. Sometimes maybe shit. Sometimes maybe very good. That's poison. Oh I see. That makes sense. That makes more sense, yeah. yeah. He's not really ever bad, so even on Nuke, here and there, but. even Nuke, we just saw him not think about his score. Yeah. I'll press tab and then get come back and do and well, it. yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Olaf taking damage. Lots of damage output actually here for complexity early on, but this seventh round could be that to phase. They're going to look to run into the A site. Poison mm. in the hot spot, still delivering. Delays the pixel. Just kill after kill. Everybody shut down. So shut down, in fact, that Cold is scared to come out from the palace. He just wants to sit on his throne. And now he will have to enter the battlefield, but only for a moment. JKS responding quickly pushes Olaf Meister into the one versus three. Doesn't have that bomb back yet. Minute on the clock, peeks into blame F, but he's not actually holding this angle. So Olaf can play a little further forward. JKS on the stairs, and Blame F gets a little curious. It pays off to him. Look at these T's stacked up high on this A site. Never even able to enter. Poison running it back. 1v1, 1v1, 1v1. Dude, looking like he's never over flicked in his life. <laughs> Excited, aren't we all? Yes, I am actually mm -hmm. excited to see. You know, again, and this is I'm, now's a good round to talk about it. You know, e excited because complexity paying off, like complexity playing well already this quickly with JKS. Mm -hmm. Again, remember in his interview, right? When when we this roster announcement kind of came out, he said, "I've hit a point in my career where I want to win things." It's unfortunate to have to hear that kind of frustration, like mm -hmm. framed that way. But you can totally understand. We've all watched JKS's career closely, and it always felt like, unfortunately, he's just. He's just not enough of a carry himself yeah. to, you know, turn 100 Thieves into like a Navi or sure. something like that. Um, but he was a, definitely a star, so he just needed some more support with that. And so nice to see him in a mixture of players who can, who can genuinely maybe give that to him. And that's the beauty of this. We're talking about complexity. We go back to the start of 2020 when complexity made their premiere at Blast Spring Series. You know, the, the version of this event six months ago. And uh, they were kind of a laughing stock. They were added into the group of death and poison and config with the ops here in the eighth round. Man, they're all laced with magnets today. Dude, just reminding you how good this is. You know, complexity as a project, I think people expect it. You know, you could have some hopes for them, but I, I mean, have they, they've exceeded all expectation. Oh, of course, of course. No, they've done a, a, an amazing job. And you can definitely see some orcs, listen, they care about Counter-Strike, they think about Counter-Strike. I'm not going to mention the ones that don't, but you can see the difference that the, the the impact of caring makes, and also knowing what you're watching. These teams with some TLC and, yeah, some adherence for what they need, and the roster changes when you need them. Yeah. That's what will make the difference. Like, I, I kind of want to put OG in Complexity's boat, right? Because OG and Complexity both revealed themselves at that Blast Spring series, mm -hmm. and OG needed more time. That's kind of what it felt like, right? We look at this. They've topped their group here. They topped it. OG through yeah. so quickly. You know, I saw like uh, Seb. I mean, I saw it from a mile away, but. Yeah, yeah. That, I can't, <laughs> honestly, I can't take that away from you. You have predicted OG every time since the start of the year. Yeah. So, okay, we'll deal with that. We'll deal with you. As complexity deal with phase without even breaking a sweat. I mean, ever since the first half of Nuke, phase have not been in this series. Yeah, I mean, it is just like watching a frag movie right now. Like, I'm yeah. kind of ha like, I think we're all kind of just like half watching, waiting until the perspective's on Poison to see if he gets the 3K, and then we kind of move forward. It's up until basically Phase wakes up. Yeah, you know, we tune back into like a highly analytical match about what the what changes can come of it because right now it's a farm. Let's see more players getting blind. Let's see maybe some adjustments in terms of getting wiped out on a default here from Phase Clan. Maybe. Try to maintain that 5v5 and toll it in exec. But um, at the moment, uh, Poison 
he's probably just thinking, why aren't they flashing me? So I'm open lines for him. Blame F gets into the palace. Has no support here. So he's just going to do his own thing. Oh, but it's the bomb carrier on the other side. That could be, no matter what happens elsewhere, that could be one of the most crucial gunfights of this round. And it's about to happen. Blame F posted on the angle, deep behind the pillows, comfortably sitting back, relaxing, and dealing with Cold Zera. Now, yes, FaZe do have some success coming up from Connector as they kill the Cat player, but JKS, like a turret, swings around for Rain's head. Three versus two. Rush able to get one before he's body bagged by Brokey, so the counter opper coming alive, but not actually finding his counterpart in Poison. He's still tucked back by Ticket, and as Brokey encroaches, a reposition from Blame F. He gives up that bomb and goes deep to T-Spawn. Oh, wow. Brokey dies by timing. It is one of those days. Nine rounds to zero. Tough. Well, they give it their best shot, but yeah, they've got problems at every doorway. Security's tight on the CT side. Everyone's looking for a key card. And, and FaZe Clan cannot scam their way in. Poison 16 and 3. And 3. You finish the first half and nuke with what, 4 kills? Yep. It's like it never happened. Just Blame dust his jump. shoulder off and move on. Config with the repeat, missing an op shot. That could have been the 5v4. It's gonna stick around. Flashes not yet thrown over. It's got to be a sour feeling for JKS finally leaving his Australian oh, team, his but... Break control. Dude, he is surrounded by fraggers now. And he himself delivers here in the 10th. Two kills to open up in connector. Poison, because his vision was taken away, has allowed a man to slip through, but Config slipping to the other side catches that. Him and Poison with an op kill apiece. We are looking at a 10-0 CT start. One cool thing that Complexity do as well that we're seeing come into it is this second option config where he is there. He's there. He's the guy. I mean, he opens up on t on CT side and ops on cat. Yep. And I mean, it's really it just makes bad turn to worse. Mm -hmm. And he hasn't really had to come into the fold at all. I mean, he's not even crossed nine kills yet because wow. of how many kills that poison has been absorbing. Well, he crosses nine. He crosses the ten with that one. Um. But we haven't even seen Config have to become useful, really. Yep. We saw what he was on, about on Nuke, so... Yeah, just tough signs. I mean, just from a fragging department, it's just insane how, how good, like, how many players are lighting up at the same time. Ouch! Knocked his teeth out with that frag. JKS back behind default box. Sees players pushing all the way past him. How's he gonna deal with this? Nobody's position's actually compromised with a man inside of the windowsill. They got everything covered. Yeah. I mean, yes, FaZe have found an opening, but there's nowhere to go from here unless somebody does that. Tech 9 besting Ooh. both Rush and JKS. But they have a palace push. Mm-hmm. And still a player back by Ticket. Opposite default plan. Oh my god, he's gonna swing wide. Now they know he's here. Look at this. Look at the way it scrambles FaZe from the play they wanted to make. Frag goes out. Oh, Cold what a cleared. Name. Just bounces it off the backboard. Rain's going to attempt to escape over towards ramp, but it's the window player in Kierby that's able to keep this one close. Is this, of all rounds, the way FaZe break onto the scoreboard? Missed smoke by Poison. He's going to have to try and play around it. Snappy little shot onto Olaf. Blames flashing his way out from Palace. Knows that Rain's back by ramp are. because of the grenade he threw, but he can't get that headshot fast enough, and it looks like FaZe have done it. Damn it, it took them 11 rounds, Launders. But we've got FaZe on the board. Hey, it doesn't matter how they got there. They'll take it at this point. You know, there's so much emphasis on individual skill on Mirage that, like, you know, you can't really blame FaZe for the stuff that they're trying. Tactically speaking, I'm sure they're not, like, super confused about strategies on Mirage of any map. So I think ultimately they're going to say, look, man, we're just getting out dueled a lot of the time. Poison, he's hitting a lot of shots. Maybe, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe we don't quite have the infrastructure on, on a T side to disable an opera. And, and the comfortability level to like make sure we avoid them. And that double op setup from complexity is really kind of putting the pressure on in that regard. So maybe there's something there about that, but apart from that, I'm sure they're saying, damn, these guys are sick.
At least in their heads, maybe not openly admitting it. Yeah, not yet. Flame and Poison though, right back to setting up shop. Strong. You know, they, they gave them a little bit of space last round. Complexity allowing FaZe to get up into Connector and then it kind of all unraveled from that point out. Mm -hmm. This time they go right back to getting control, not conceding anything. Sure, they don't have a player yet in Palace, but who needs one with Poison connecting op frag after op frag? Dude, he is just absolutely taking over on Mirage. He is 20 and 3. Yeah. I open the scoreboard and I feel, I, I feel, I feel a little dirty. I feel, yeah. I feel. <laughs> At least you feel. That's why we watch this game. This is making you feel things. Oh, another one, man. He doesn't lose focus. Yeah, and one in three. What did we have last game? Fifty kills between the two by the end of the map, or yeah. yeah. Wow. Twenty-one and three. Ten minutes later. So, <laughs> two days later. <laughs> Poison on 100 kills. So, so Poison has 21 kills on his own. Okay. And FaZe entirely have 23. Poison gets two more kills. He is FaZe Clan. Okay. Yeah. He can just jump in the Gundam that is FaZe Clan and take it over. Fly it into the ocean if he wants to. All right. Try going back to B. Crack Rush is like, side. man, I haven't seen somebody in uh -oh. the last 25 minutes. Config's gonna have his op positioned on Catwalk. Rush did a good job of falling back to bench so that he can bait FaZe in. Another peek versus Config, and he'll land the second shot versus Brokey. Yes, there's a player back on Van. Olaf gonna go escape for the time being as Config starts to drop shots here. Cold Zero will connect it to the head of Blame. But Rush is still alive. And that's all she wrote. A no scope through smoke wall bang from Config to Cold Zera. Joey, cue it up. This needs to be, you know, complexity you need to like take this demo, remember every feeling that they had during this match. Yeah. Try to replicate every circumstance. Whether they Oh my god. Uh, uh, whatever, you know what I mean? If they stub their toe on their way into the practice room to do play, again. do it again. Okay, break your toenail, slam your door in, into the, uh, slam your finger into the car door, whatever it took to have this day go exactly the same so you can present the exact same circumstances so you can do this again because this is uh, like a top level complexity. This is what was the vision of the juggernaut right now with the level of individual skill popping off all at the same time. Yeah, but as we talk about it, as we sing their praise, FaZe just throwing themselves at mid this time around, probably getting a little frustrated they just want to knock back complexity a peg, and JKS continues the spray down. This pushes Rush into a clutch. Now, for a dedicated B-site player who hasn't done anything wrong, but just hasn't had a chance to shine like his teammates, this is Rush's round. The A retake is what B players wait for, mm -hmm. and now he'll have his chance. What's he up against? Well, Olaf on the bomb, like Mother Hen. 15 HP, smoke and a flash. And Rush has a flash of his own on 46 health. Cold Zero's back by this is far. Oh, oh, he thinks about it too. Yep, yep. Oh, he's gonna go into the crossfire. Oh, oh no way! Oh. Dude! Chills. Chills, dude. That flick. <gasps> Why didn't you get the last kill, Rush? That was the easy one. What was that shot? He baits Look, the, he's not he actually, looking at him. He gets Olaf to fall back a second. Oh, man. You see him second guess it himself, right? He whipped that back. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> you can't do anything he's but He's only laugh, happy because they don't need this round, but... Yeah, exactly. Holy, did he have it. Awesome. Awesome little moment. Dude, we've had, we've had just cool little kills back-to-back -back rounds. It. This has been a fun half. Not for FaZe, let's be honest. Uh, but exciting Counter-Strike nonetheless. There goes the headshot. Config down for the count. Come on, FaZe. A third T round. Do it, and you'll give yourself at least a desperate chance on your CT side. Poison's going to go for the close flash. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. He almost got away with that. Right? Could have been a robbery. JKS will drop bomb as Rush tucks through murder hole, and it's both of the M4s versus Brokey. Frag to finish him off. Oh, one health left over. Captain. That is a robbery. He's still going to die. Hit him with the molly. Surely. Okay. 
Drops the op shot onto him. JKS versus Brokey to close the first 15 of FaZe's map. And it is there for them. A third, a chance, maybe. Join us after the halftime break to see who closes. Oops. It's for you, I guess. <laughs> this complexity is really untouchable right now. I'm okay. sure. I'm sure you know a team in better form and all this other stuff could probably give them a better fight. But right now, we're just seeing like such strong individual play from complexity that is unbelievable. I mean, this is the map to show that it's not really everyone yep. getting shot in the side of the head. It's everybody looking people dead in the eyes and out getting out dueled, getting out opt, getting out traded. Everything. Let's see if the CT side can save the day for Phase. We've already got Complexity out from a ramp. Three members of FaZe Clan here on the defense. Rush destroying Kirby. And JKS instantly besting Brokey leaves this to the double man advantage. P250 pop off, nets them nothing. Cold Zera actually here, double headshot. But Rush winning the duel versus CT spawn now puts this retake in such a difficult spot. Technically, Blame could just wait for the crossfire, but he decides to go for the duel. And in doing so, Leaves it all on Cold Zera. 1v3, he's dead. And a pistol round. You know, it's it's the classic cliche. If they lose the pistol, this map is done. But at a 12-3, it is very true. Yep. Gonna be tough. Impossible Force. to argue with, for Forcing sure. Forcing to the end, perhaps? Yeah, you would think they're gonna spend money here. They might, you know, if they don't have any hope of winning this round, then they might just say, okay, we'll get a crummy yeah, buy next time, but... There it is. Yeah, okay. They, they'll just, they'll go for it with the Deagles. Let's go, put up a fight. Listen, <laughs> this is actually how they won their round. Uh, at the, they started on CT side. They won their round with Olaf and B. Got a couple of one deeks. So, okay, there's the first <laughs> one. And they actually won two Ecos, uh, both with Deagles. Yes. And it was all uh, just all Deagle headshots, so... Hey, I'm all aboard, man. I'll put it past them. You know, again, FaZe at least looking like they're playing with the gloves off. You gotta find comfort and just enjoying yourself. Oh, small update on Olaf. Yesterday, he was jump clearing this, jumping the other way. Now he's jump clearing it from left to right instead of right to left. Okay, back to you in the desk, Connor. Well, that means that he has improved. <laughs> I actually liked yesterday's method. Nerve-wracking moment here for FaZe. Yes, they've got the man advantage. But where is complexity? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Making There's a bit of sound in mid. There's such a cluster of CTs in in front of connector. Yeah, they want to... A way you can all go wrong and all go right, all at the same time. Yeah. Desert Eagle. See you can what play we... it like a shotgun. Well. Why cool. is this print stream extra purple? Man, they're loitering. Yeah, it's super purple. 30 seconds. This is going to be a, a tough crunch. This is either going to work very well or not at all. Kierby going to miss his shot. They clear the closer corners, and suddenly we've got Complexity all trying to get to the A site. However, Brokey is able to best both. Now we've got the 2v2 ensuing. AK's up for Complexity. They still have the edge, but it's the creep and crawl from Cold that bests poison. JKS ready to clutch. It is him versus Cold Zera and Olaf Meister. He gets the instant headshot on the first player. Olaf has the angle and the AK, which means FaZe Clan will work their deagles into a fourth round win. They take that momentum back from complexity after the T side picks up pistol. We could be staring at the start of something special. This is Olaf's second clutch since coming back. Blinded. Oh, Config said. <laughs> Config said in chat, nice shot, Rain, you lucky bastard. Yeah. And then he said, I hope they release the cam because I was full tilt. And there you have it. Wish received. That was literal physical tilt yeah, in his chair. He wasn't chair. kidding at all. <laughs> That's funny. Man, he wasn't even blind for like, it's not like instantly blind and shoot. Rain could feel it out there in the void. Well, that's that's three Deagle Eco rounds in the last two days here on Mirage for FaZe Clan. Deagle Ecos. Deagle Ecos. It's kind of nice. Config's like, I hope Rain peaks this. If Config has one, if I know Config. It's just a re revenge for him. That's yeah. all he cares about. Yeah, yeah. He's not thinking about winning the round. He's no. thinking about finding Rain. That's not what matters. 
He may find Kierby instead, and that could be the weaker link for FaZe. But with the AUG and support from his teammates, it's an easy fallback. Config will get past the frag grenade, so a single point of damage is all that did. Brokey spam in the smoke. Config loses footing on the bench. Second attempt gets him one step closer. Frag grenade to soften someone close, but it's Kierby on the more passive angle. Blame F's going to peek it from the opposite side. Poison incredibly low next to him. But here it is. A little bit of success for complexity and connector. Bit more pressure here on Rain as he takes an aggressive peek. And he could get schooled by this player swinging out of Palace. Depends on the timing. Instead, he'll recede, allow the bomb plant to go down. Oh my god, the spray. Or Poison did not have enough health to survive from there. And his foot was sticking out. Yeah, so it's all on Blame F. 1v4. Half his health is gone, and Brokey won't let him move a muscle. So a fifth round four phase. They lose two players in the process. That slow connector to A play almost got them a post plant, mm -hmm. but all taken away. Patient play by phase. Still an eight round deficit. A five player problem here for phase clan, where anyone pops off and they lose a round, and suddenly economy's broken. And the snowball begins, and it'll be a short, short snowball to the end. Three rounds here, separating complexity from a series win. What is this strat? What do we got going on? You just stick all the T's in the hidey holes. The please push me strat. <laughs> Phase pretty passive. Let's see if anybody goes hunting. Okay, they're going to burst. Run boost. Double run boost? Just one. Just one. Kierby on the A1S. Brokey almost dead. But it's the USPS swap out. Fama starts to play in from Catwalk here. There's a second player to peek it. And this is just going fantastically for phase. Enough to buy, they don't get poison on the app. Bit of jubilation here from Olaf. It's a small victories. It's a clean just victories. Just happy to be playing Counter-Strike. Take them, yeah. yeah. Take them where you can find them. So I missed some of the interview, but I'm not sure if you did hear it, but when it was Cold Zero talking, he, I think he kind of, so I think he kind of talked about finding, eventually maybe finding a replacement, but just taking the year slow. Okay. And making sure they just don't jump the gun on that, in that front. Like they, I'm not kind of have in the past, but you know, had the switch, make a quick switch here and there. Yeah. And I think that plays is great. As play. long as Olaf wants to play, that's awesome. Yeah. As long as Olaf's happy, having fun. And again, at least you're working with a known entity. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not taking another another B mass type risk. Yeah. Where but somebody's going to have to babysit. For sure. And he's they were talking about 2021, which is great. You know, as the scope is greater. It felt like, you know, who knows what happens to phase. Counter Strike's not going anywhere. There's so many good pieces here, is the problem, right? How could you ever just. It's tough. It felt like things were going south, but I don't know. Give them time. You know, we've seen Kierby do good work. Maybe Nico's removal will be a blessing in disguise. Yeah. The problem is the, finding a high frag in IGL. That'll mm. be the first kind of goal. Yeah, OG stolen. We're finding out if... Yeah. Rush, good answer. Okay. Here's the flash. Rain goes for the peak, but can't escape quick enough. Poison's going to be left on cat control. It's about getting Kierby out from underneath Palace and also not dying to Brokey in the meantime. They move Olaf rapidly back by ticket. Kierby sees the player fall beneath. Now they know about him, but how do they get him out of here? Rush, he's going to fully extend outwards, and he does it in time before Olaf arrives and can oh, deny the plant health. because Blame F has a single point of health. That frag would have been just as successful at stopping the bomb plant as the round previous, but mm. one HP, damn it. Sometimes this game is a heartbreaker. Still a chance to retake. Oh, or not. Blame F, not only surviving the bomb plant with one point of HP, but then instantly clapping back Cold Zera. Olaf's gonna just hope he can get away from this. He's being held in his own spawn as Complexity continue on with success to find themselves 14. 
That's tough. They waited on the trade. I mean, as we're saying, that nade lands and then, you know, man down. Blame F doesn't get this next kill. They got to think about a new way to plant the bomb where they know the CTs have rotated over. Jay like doing the ninja dance. <laughs> <laughs> what flavored toothpick do you think he's got? Um, money flavored. Sure. <laughs> Molly on the feet of Olaf. Oh, he's starting to burn alive. Cold Zera, though, good double kill off of the side of Arch. And more players to throw themselves at him. Awkward position, in fact, for complexity. They're going to fall down nearly lined up. Brokey, difficult position. And there's the wide peek out from Rain. They're not able to stop the bomb plant this time around. JKS tucked back by Arch. Blame F in the apartment. Smoke fades. Rain's on the other side. But it's the cat peak that's starting to kill Blame F. JKS can't quite give cover. And Blame dies out to Kierby. Guess he didn't realize just quite where he was coming from. Or where he was taking damage from, rather. That's going to be a seventh four phase. Still half of the round count of complexity. But a CT side that could, should, get rolling. Should definitely. We'll see. Well, that was a good. Not surprised to see the Tesco over to the B site, you know, at least once. We'll see what happens uh, more in the future. And again, you know, Colt there has got the graffiti on, on this side of the map. So as awkward as things has been, he's definitely a point of comfort for him. Though he's more more the cat player now than anything else. So playing the pillar to perfection. Two times the rounds here for complexity. They'll buy in again with just uh, Deagles. I'm sure phase are definitely on edge for the Ecos as well. Just, you know, want to be sure. Pre-fire Deagle spam into Brokey. Just to shoot him away. And a chance there for Blame F, yeah. Oh, it's like, maybe I shouldn't do that again. That's the thing. He's actually, his jump spot before was better, I think. From left to right? Yeah. yeah. I thought sorry, that sorry, one sorry. Right, you right to left. Right, right to, to left. left. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he went back to what he was doing yesterday. Oh, he did? Yeah. Oh, okay. Right, okay. Listen, as long as he doesn't die doing it's like it. The Olaf Meister update. It's like anything he does. He gets a kill, we go tab. He gets Olaf, a clutch, we go re he load up the replay. Just took a deep breath. Yeah. Changing his crosshair placement. Oh, he's shaking a bit? We need Olaf updates. How's he feeling? It's just we haven't had him in the server, man. How, <laughs> how do you can... How I'll take anything. I just want an interview with him. Yeah. yeah the first question. How are you? <laughs> How was your whole day, Olaf Meister? What'd you have for breakfast? 40 seconds left. Where do they go? B, obviously. Everybody's here for complexity, well, bomb they, included. No one's seen Olaf in a long time. They want to give him a visit. Oh, well, he's ready for them. If they come and knocking, he'll be rocking them back with is Fomis, or maybe Kierby gets all the kills before he even has a chance. Total shutdown on the exit, labored spray. Cold saves the day, or at least saves Kierby, as he had five HP left over. That's an eighth round for FaZe Clan, a CT side that again is starting to rumble, but every time we get guns into the mix, it's closer than ever. I think people are giving uh, FaZe Clan too much practice on the B site. <laughs> They're inevitably gonna get better the amount of talent that they have here. And everyone keeps testing the B site. Default to mid. Two towards A. Don't know if they're doing anything fast with these lurks. Poison takes a uh, huge spot of damage. Don't know if that was from an HE or not. Scope down mid. Not going to see any players to fight with. What well, looks like a lurk smoke. Just a poofy connector smoke. To threaten that underpass. And... Nobody's pushing him quite yet. We can see with the double kind of two-prong lurk set up on the A site, they're probably going to try to go for a connector as soon as the time is right. Just assisting config and getting out of underpass safely is the first step. Ooh. Uh-oh. Brokey going to fall back through the fire. You know, a moment, a moment of considering sticking around and trying to deal with the player stuck behind the chair. 
but he had to give it up. Didn't want to take the risk. Hard to take risks when you're trailing by six and complexity knocking on a series win. I think FaZe read this properly. They've, yes, they did. Yeah, brought a player out of B. With that footstep bottom mid, that would have given Config a chance. Kierby going to strip it away from him, and now they can really focus forward on this inevitable execution. Complexity going to come into it. They have no smokes, double molly, quadruple flashbang, and guns. We'll see if they can get it done. 20 seconds remain here. Brokey's posted on ticket. Poison's gonna try and best him, and he <laughs> will. Now it's Rain's chance back by fire. He also dies out. The peak from Cold Zera taking heads off the shoulders. Blame F, dead to rights. A trio of frags coming out of cold gives FaZe Clan a ninth. A monster locked down. And that's why we're switching to the M4A1S, Connor. Beautiful stuff. Somebody asked, Dude, what about the USP P2K? The USP, I think. Too many situations where you shoot at somebody when they're not looking at you and their teammate doesn't hear you. Okay. That's the only thing. Yeah, yeah. I think it's actually a Just re really strong. Glad we cleared that up. There's extra bullet, of course, V2K. Better, slightly better jumping and accuracy. No, no. It's a weird stat. It's all about the silencer. Man. Yeah, the silencer's a big one. I use a plain black USPS with an LGB 2014 hollow on there. Oh, man. Very nice. Yeah. I've got a Stat Track Minimal Wear USPS stainless steel mm. with a Shox Cologne sticker and. And Titan Hollow. Oh! Classy. My goodness. Flexing on him. Skirt! He just dabbed in real life. I thought I'd cast that for you. Well, I wish you had. Now everybody knows I'm a loser. I think they knew before. Okay. Deagle's up for complexity. What an opening pick from Poison. Poor Brokey. He's getting out off by everybody. We saw him uh, get taken down so many times by, uh, what was it, Ziwu? I feel like it was too quick for him. Uh, maybe in a little Searson action. I don't know. Brokey's a great opper, but some of these pure duels are just some fantastic shots being hit. That perfect clear from Poison into CT spawn. Try it again. Come on now. Maybe Poison gets out. He just has the Glock to work with. He is the first man fed to the meat grinder. Rain peppering the T's as they exit out ramp. Doing a good job of dodging damage until this point. Config blows his head off through the triple box. Brokey's gonna wide swing. Easy pickup versus Blame. He's gotta build his sidearm and it pays off. He gets a second kill and an assist as Cold Zera chimes in with a little bit of impact. And we have FaZe Clan sitting on the double digits. Now, yeah. if only they had a better first half, mm -hmm. then suddenly this is an even game, tied. However, that's not the case. Yeah, I mean, CT's definitely looking good. And honestly, CT's even already kind of achieving more than it did yesterday by a round. So that's that's cool to see. That's cool to see for what it's worth. Still dangerous waters, but... Quick smoke. Yeah. Brokey was mad from that last round. Flies right into underpass, like the proactivity. It's also a strong spot to op in from this angle. Mm -hmm. It's, of course, this danger that he has to worry about. And, oh, it's small timing window, and he's not going to be able to protect himself. Rush finds that timing. No smoke down. He's trying to go incognito mode and hope that someone gives up the opening kill so he could turn his attention back to underpass. Yeah. He did have a smoke at the bottom of connector if he wanted to try and exit, but with right. the gap towards top mid and that, that heavy presence shown by complexity, I, I completely see why he sticks around. Well, they're still set up pretty well here to deal with any cap presence. If, if it is going to be a B split coming, Cold Zera, you know, one of the best ladder room players in the game. He's going to move on out and Poison. Oh, he's there to look, but a, a quick trade means it's four on three. Mm -hmm. And Config can pick that bomb up. Olaf, his back's exposed to B apps, oh. but he cuts off Config first and oh. foremost. Then Rush gets tagged to 22. Olaf, oh no, he's caught as he tries to jump back into the cover. Kierby kills Rush, and we have a 2v2 with a flank in from Blame. Kierby slain as Complexity take their 15th round. A key move. It was so hard to read that there was going to be a lurk in that situation, and Blame F moved fast with conviction through the window into the back of market just in time a few more seconds and noise gets stopped stop being made in the b hall someone turns around sure so good on blame for speeding it up there and pulling that one out for complexity ah, that's a tough one brokey took a risk could have paid off and well smoke lands and spawn let's see who do we blame it is rush 
I'll have to resmoke window on JKS's dime. JKS in second position on the scoreboard for Complexity, only behind Poison, who kicks off this round with a pretty quick headshot. Convict pinches from the bottom of mid, but as he bounces up onto the bench, Coldzera finds the better of him. Whoa, Olaf is opping. Well, that excites me. That's awesome. Hit this shot, or fall off. Flash gets his feet moving backwards, but then he's coming in for more. JKS with another piece of utility. Ah, but he kind of plays with his nades a bit too long. Blame, check right. <gasps> check right. Oh, no. They've... Cr oh, he heard the footsteps. Oh, my God. Blame Wait. now realizes that he's in the middle of all these T's. Does he know it's going towards A? They started walking, so it's just about if they... Yeah, so Rush Here's is going to come and clear this now. Okay, they kill Cold. They'll have, like, what, Oh, seconds. he's actually... Yeah. But oh if Cold God. goes ramp too Cold fast, he's going to leave Complexity scratching their heads in their own damn spawn. Uh, Blame uh, decides to go on without his second player... I guess he knows. Oh, whoa! He's running. Okay, he's flashing. Blame's gonna walking. Keep them dedicated to A. This is weird because look, look, he knows Cole just walked through the ramp, so Blame's gonna go B. They're they're starting to rotate over now. Yeah, yeah. They've 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 sold the fake back. Olaf, he's the only player to challenge this B site, and he just went around the corner. That gives Blame his plant. Now we've got the post plant on for map two for the two zero sweep. Smoke. Complexity looking to hold on to the post plant. Blame takes a tidbit of damage, but he gets the headshot in terrain. Now we're back into the even 2v2. There are flash bangs aplenty for FaZe Clan. Damage into Rush. They know that Blame is out here somewhere, but he's on the side of the smoke. And he's going to reposition to within the site, literally standing on his bomb. Another kill coming in for Blame F, but he gets blindsided. Cold Zero with the clutch. He gets the 3K, and FaZe continue on. This was five map and match points, and now they only need four yeah, more. Yeah, they really got to earn every inch there. That's crazy. I don't even understand what was going on comms-wise there with complexity where Rush is Wild. pushing through the halls. He doesn't know where Cold Zero is. Blame has really limited information on the push. And then Rush coming back to throw the flash over a ramp. Those footsteps were definitely heard from Cold Zera. And if Cold Zera did come that way, Blame didn't see him in B halls, then what was the assumption? It's a bit weird they're throwing nades there. So yeah, they gave him they gave him the alert, but then also Olaf. He wasn't watching the B halls. So complexity, they'll buy a little bit. They actually have a P90 on Rush. Screaming Furio a bit too much, I guess. Yeah, what's going on here? I just hate the MP5. I just, it just, I just don't like it. We'll see if he can make it rain, but Rush, dead first. <laughs> yeah. That didn't work out too well. SMG's letting him down. Faye's happy for it. Opshot connects, and Baroki with the sidearm USPS headshot. He gets himself three kills, and FaZe now have a 12th round on the board. Again, if this wasn't a 12-3 first half, FaZe already win Mirage. They're doing an incredible job of keeping themselves in a game. They have no business taking this distance, but it's not over yet. You can run a marathon. If you sprint before the finish line, or rather... <laughs> finish that. I want to hear where this goes. <laughs> if you start swimming on a marathon... If you trip you're gonna before be the finish who line, run. who cares how far you ran? <laughs> That was a giggler. Okay. Well, it's come close in a few of these situations. You know, it's looking like more of an even bout now. And Complexity earning earning their attempts. Coming down to Lurks, but still looking very good, I'd say. Uh, but this round, a bit different than the last rifle. They've got no nades left over on, on three players. Uh, the op might be a nice buy for them. Obviously, Poison has cooled off since the first half. But all we need is one round from him. However, FaZe, heavy stack towards B. They're anticipating this hit. Yep, they're ahead of it. And where's Brokey? He's in the B site watching the flank. Let's see what happens. Flashes go over top. Olaf completely eats one. He's down to 18 bullets. And here comes Brokey in the site. Good at combat offing, but Poison and Rush getting the better of FaZe. They're going to have to retake two versus three. 
Now, the silver lining for FaZe is there's zero utility for complexity to hold on with. The problem for FaZe is they still haven't cleared everything out, and they are losing precious moments by taking their time. Now, Rain arrives first. He's hanging on to a smoke flash. Same utility for Cold Zera. They could throw it out the window. They could try and fluster sight. There is crucial moves that will be made off of the side of the smoke. Blame's gonna have to whip the crosshair. Rain doesn't clear his corners, and this could be the end. It is 16-12 for complexity on Mirage. It is FaZe Clan sent spiraling to the Blast Fall Showdown, and complexity continue on. Well, a very nice attempt. I thought they, you know, they definitely pulled it back for some dignity rounds on the CT side and definitely showed what they could do on an individual level for the most part. Yeah. It was fun watching Nuke, but this was really just about how fun it was watching the individuals on Complexity. Yeah, unfortunately, kind of two flat halves for FaZe, right? The second half of Nuke, the first half of Mirage. Uh, things to praise within it and some individual moments, I would say, just across both teams, across both maps that actually still made this, this 